Today I'm excited to be speaking with Elliot Hulse, a professional strongman, strength coach, and author. You can know exactly how to lose weight but still be obese. What I invite people to do is to realize that no matter what you know and what you even do, because that's just you know, one step closer to, to the, the roots of what's transformational, it's who you are that's important. My uncle was a gymnast, a martial artist, Huh. He ran marathons, he was a bodybuilder, and I was four years old, and here's this guy who's <laughs> essentially Superman, because yeah. he can do standing backflips and he wow. break bricks in half with his hands. So you could just imagine that my consciousness, the way I think, arises out of an environment where at a very young age it was like, well, you know, you can actually do things that Superman do does, like walk on your hands and do backflips yeah. and chop bricks. And you don't put anything in your body that doesn't support vitality. You had talked about how even at your you know, lowest point financially, you still focused on eating healthy foods and investing in your body because that kind of seeds into everything else. Yeah. The food that you eat literally becomes the cells of your body. I mean, you want to think better, consider what your brain cells are being made of. And how does strength tie into that? And it's the vehicle through which you, you, you approach this world, you know, is, is your body. If you're physically weak, I don't see how you could be mentally strong, emotionally strong. What happens in our mind happens in our body. And what's happening in our body is linked to our mind. So there's really no separating them. If you want to become more intelligent, you want to have better relationships, you want to make more money, it begins with the mind. And the mind literally drops down into the body via the peripheral nervous system. So that's a great point. I never thought about it that way. You know, we think of our mind kind of a separate thing, but it literally connects into your physical body. Yeah. Right, there's no separation between the neocortex, the cortex, the medulla, and the brainstem. Yeah. And then what does the brainstem do? The, do? It branches out into the organs and the muscle. So it's like, you you think you're training your bicep, but really you're, you're training your brain, you're training your mind. Yeah, it's all interconnected. What are the biggest frustrations or challenges of your clients there? Well, it's not the one that they think it is. They've got this thing that they think is their problem, but really, when you take a good look at it, you realize that that is just the manifestation of a deeper problem that you didn't see. So growing stronger physically, a lot of people say, well, yeah, you know what, I, I'd like to deadlift more weight, or I'd like yeah. to squat more weight, I'd like to press more weight. But as I mentioned earlier, who you are determines what you do, so focusing on who you are is more important. So you can, you can come to me and say, well, yeah, Elliot, I want six-pack abs. But then I have to take a look at, well, that, that's fine. We can help you burn fat and we can help you <laughs> train that muscle. But the nervous system, the connection to those muscles is completely shut off because you're on medication or you're eating foods that potentially shut down the, the nervous system's connection, you know, your, your ability yeah. to turn on those muscles. We can take it one step further and say, well, why are you not digesting your food properly? Why is it cause, causing inflammation in your gut? And that could take us to the fact that, oh, you've got money problems. You're, you're you know, $70,000 in debt and your wife is upset about this and she's thinking about leaving you and, and you just found out your daughter's pregnant. So it's like, wait a second, you came here wanting six pack abs, but we yeah. just took a look at your digestive system and we realized that your digestive system is screwed up because of your stress in your life. And it's like, yeah. okay, that's nice, you want that, but why is that a problem? I think of their biggest challenge is to think, yeah, exactly like you said, I want to lift more, I want to, I want to be stronger, I want to squat more, but in reality, I mean, it's so much deeper than that. Dig deeper and find out really why you're doing it. You know, what's what's behind the motivation, what's going on in your mind. It's easy to train. I'm all sweaty because I just finished training. I mean, that's yeah, an hour. It's I'm one done. hour, exactly. But nutrition is 24 hours a day, right? An hour a day is about 4% of your entire week, right? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's, it doesn't require that much. You just got to yeah. do it. What are like three suggestions you would give to anybody that's starting out, that's trying to you know, change, transform their body physically. I always take it a few steps back and go to the root of, well, what is the context of your question? For me, it's always, where are you coming from? What is the yeah. root of this? Yeah. I'm just more fascinated in big picture things. I'm more interested in who, who are you? Why are you asking me that? Yeah. Then, okay, you could do these three, three, three tips. But, you know, that people want tips. So, you know, one of the things I would invite someone to do, and it's all basic stuff, it's not sexy at all, is, are you sleeping at night? And it's like, dude, you, you totally lost, you missed your anabolic window yeah. and you're doing it every single night and you think that you're, this is like, I heard someone say this the other day, I think they commented on one of my videos, that I'm genetically inclined towards being a night owl. 
I'm like, yeah, that's the biggest crock of SH that I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Electricity in the homes just came about like a hundred years ago. What do we do up until that point? When yeah. the sun goes down, you settle down. You're, right. You know, that's where your DNA is at. That's how your, physio your physiology responds to the celestial bodies. We think we're different. We think we're separate from even the earth and the sun and the moon. It's like, yeah. no, do you realize that your hormones are dictated based on where the, where the planet is? And you think that you're you're genetically disposed to, to doing shit outside of your roots, your planet? I'm shocked at how many people just don't drink water. I don't want to talk to you about building muscle if you don't drink water. <laughs> you see, that's like going to a dentist and being and like, yeah, I'd like to have teeth. pearly, shiny white teeth. And he's like, okay, well, you know, how, what kind of toothbrush do you use to brush your teeth? Oh, brushing teeth? <laughs> nah, I just don't like doing that. He kicked you out of his office. I'm just not genetically inclined to brush my teeth, you know? <laughs> it's just not in me. <laughs> You know, people are fighting for the closest parking spot they can find at a gym where they then go inside in an air conditioned room and they walk on a treadmill. It's like, well, you don't want to walk <laughs> from your car to the, to the gym, but then you get in the gym and you walk on a freaking treadmill. You, yeah. People avoid movement. If you, if you keep doing the same thing for your whole life, you know, on this linear path that you were saying, you probably won't mm -hmm. stay on it. It's just going to get boring. But if you keep changing it up and you're trending in the direction that you want to go, then even if it's not a linear path, you know, you still get to where you want to be. Yeah, and then your life is full of experiences. Yeah, exactly. And, and I'm way too bored not to have lots of experiences. I don't know how people <laughs> literally live. It's like, have you ever gone back to high school and seen like the kids that are doing and look exactly the same as where you left them? Yeah. And it's like, boy, it's like uh, 10 years have passed by, but for you, one year has passed by 10 <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, thank you so much for sharing this valuable information with us today. Check out wholestrength.com if you want any products that will help you build muscle, get strength, and become an alpha male. You know, uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Elliot. You got it. Uh, so you guys, ask yourself today, what are you going to do to create your legacy? Alright, take care. Thank you. Hey guys, DJ here. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Elliot. Such an inspiration. I like how he just brings it back to the basics. You know, sleep, hydration, movement. That's really what matters. If you want to see more of his videos, check him out on YouTube. His channel is called Strength Camp. Also, click the link below to see the full interview where he talks about his full journey and one of the key characteristics of becoming an alpha male. You will also receive access to interviews with other fitness experts such as Vince Delmani, Scott Herman, Plus, you'll get access to the exact training and nutrition program that I used to put on 12 pounds of muscle in just under 90 days. So check it out below. Take care.